uh, record button. So uh, it's okay. Well, welcome everyone to our uh, Empathy Tent Team meeting. And uh, I want to start off with uh, just going around, everybody introducing themselves, uh, you know, where you're from, maybe a little bit about your interest uh, in the Empathy Tent Team. And uh, so I can start. I'm Edwin Rutch, director of the Center for Building a Culture of Empathy, and so the founder of the Empathy Tent. Uh, started it, and oh, somebody just popped in. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Wilderness. Hey, wilderness. And uh, started at Occupy Wall Street here in 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 uh, Berkeley. And I've been working for about 12, 13 years on the topic of empathy. Uh, sort of, this is interviewing people. I've got rows of books here, interviewed a lot of people and do trainings and all kinds of different stuff, trying to really create a more empathic uh, world. And so I live in the El Cerrito, which is just north of Berkeley, so very close to the San Francisco Bay Area. And maybe you can go around to uh, Bill, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Sure. Uh, my name is Bill Filler. Um, I'm a retired uh, special ed teacher. I taught um, emotionally disturbed children for 37 years. Um, and so um, I have firsthand experience of how important empathy is and how healing it can be as well. Uh, I also live in the East Bay um, and, um, you know, and I'm big on nature and things like that. And so I'd also like to consider empathy for the environment too. Um, sort of learning to listen to the environment. That would be another interest of mine. Okay, uh, Lou? Sure, I'm Lou Zwire. I live in Petaluma, California. I'm um, a filmmaker and a teacher. And I have a long background in communication and conflict resolution, uh, teaching it and doing it. Um, I have a background in nonviolent communication too. Um, and I've been working with Edwin for maybe a year now, <laughs> actually, maybe a little more than a year, um, doing learning empathy, the empathy circle practice, the way he's doing it and teaching uh, and doing empathy circles. Yeah, so that's me. Okay. I'm just going around here. I play different windows for different uh, views, but uh, Wilderness, you're next here. and I'm interested in working on getting empathy tents going here. Um, I am interested in NVC and um, working on learning more about that. And um, I'm interested in learning more about compassionate listening and the empathy circles. Um, I work in unrelated, well, I don't know if there's anything unrelated to empathy, but um, mm -hmm. I work at um, in a college for a university for natural medicine, um, and yeah, just kind of wanting to. Con yeah, you broke up there a little bit. It was a university for what was it? Didn't. Um, I work at the National University of Natural Medicine. Okay. Mm -hmm. in Portland. Okay. Was that it, or was there more? Uh, I don't know what you missed. Um, <laughs> it was just after that the kind of things broke up a little bit. Oh, I think I just said I'm just interested in um, you know just getting more involved with the community around empathy. Okay. Great, uh, Tony. Hey. I'm Tony. I live in San Diego as of recently, and uh, yeah, taking an interest in NBC, and I'm taking their compassion course uh, online at the moment, which has been good. And just generally speaking, feel uh, kind of drawn to those subjects at the moment, and um, yeah, wanting to connect more with that and and see where that goes and. Um, yeah, excited to be part of this uh, group of people and to, um, in the near future, to attend an event and, and uh, be part of that that group. That seems really exciting. So, 
Great. Uh, Jennifer? Um, so, um, yes, Jennifer in Portland, and um, I heard about this group through Wilderness, um, who I um, work with at uh, NUNM, and um, uh, I've wor actually worked in that field for a long time, uh, the alternative medicine field, and I have developed my own uh, compassionate um, uh, communication tools. I didn't really know about it. Um, um, nonviolent communication um, or this movement, but I'm really glad to know about it now. I was really impressed with what I heard here last week and excited and inspired. So, um, yeah, wanting to get involved and expand um, this work into the community here. Mm, great, thanks. Uh, Sam? Hi, I'm Sam. I uh, just started a career as a school social worker in a special education school for children with emotional behavioral challenges so i connected with what you said there bill um in <laughs> the need for empathy in that population in particular but just in the general you know population as well like i've become more saddened by the socio-political climate in our country and feel the need for more empathic understanding and communication between opposing sides and so i really liked the idea of participating in an empathy tent movement or empathy tent you know event um i happen to be on the east coast so um that would make it quite difficult but i like the idea of possibly you know starting something up over here or at least just getting my own feet wet in building up my own skills as an empathic listener um, and facilitator for the students that I work with, but also just in general. So that's why I'm here. Okay, well, thanks. Where on the East Coast are you? Hmm? Where on the East Coast are you? Um, New Jersey. Huh. Okay, I might have someone to connect you with. Okay, that'd be awesome. Okay, at the uh, meeting last time, we talked about forming a Portland uh, empathy tent team and uh, Wilderness had uh, contacted me and we set up a, a Facebook event for it and had several people uh, come and we, to, the, to the last meeting and I gave a bit of an overview of the empathy tent and said that this meeting we would actually take part in an empathy circle, which is the core practice that we do and get a chance, have everyone have a chance to really practice and just show you how, how, we, we, uh, how we do the practice. And I put together a bit of a slideshow that I think will take about 15 minutes. Uh, and do we have uh, at least about an hour, hour and a half for everyone? Is there any time limits here? Do you mean, okay. till, eight, do you mean till 8.30? Eight, it's see, right now it's quarter after, so that'd be, yeah, about 8.30. Uh, I think so. Okay, just want to kind of get. Usually we go for about an hour and a half or so, and uh, so I want to give an overview of the practice that we do, and uh, then oh, let me actually stop 